What is everybody? It's Mr. Energy here. Welcome back to another episode of One Shot. Now, last we left off, we were trying to figure out exactly how to get a library card and get some water for the um, water lady and stuff. I don't even know if I can get that because everything I'm. I I've tried everything I can think of and I can't find anything anywhere. But I haven't been down here yet. And what on earth is this? Why are there cats in this room? Oh, a cat! Are you lost? <laughs> Me? Do you wish to join us? Join your cats? Yes. But I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people eyes. Ooh, didn't mean to hit that button. Well, normal back home. Your hat is shaped like a cat. <laughs> but I'm a person. You're still welcome here. I protect lost people as well. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm not lost though. I've got energy behind me. I see. It's warm here. Yeah. This was originally this was my original purpose. Watching cats? Warmth. Oh. It's nice. It's a nice purpose. You look tired. You wish to rest. I can't sleep now. Energy and I have stuff to do. I see. So where do you find all these cats? They found me on their own. So I stay here now. Ah. Well, it's good that you're not alone, at least. I met some robots in the other area, stations all by themselves. I felt kind of bad. With robots, it is alright. We do not like people. We are we are not like people. We are typically unable to feel loneliness. I, I didn't mean to say we do not like people. <laughs> right. Well, you take less... You talk less like a robot than most other robots I've met. Maybe. Not many people frequent this part of the alley, but there are a few. One of them at least, one of them even lives here. I see. Okay. Is there anything else you have to talk to me about? Okay. You have been here a while. Are you sure you don't wish to stay? I'm good. Thanks for offering them. Alright. That is everything of the dialogue. Now, let's figure out where else I can go. What's this? A faded flyer. Alright. Faded flyer. Okay. A curious marking on the wall. It looks like a ram. And I can't go in there. Okay. There's gotta be somewhere in here that I can do things. Now, unfortunately, I am completely blind to this. Now, had I taken an actual guide, I might have actually been able to figure this out by now. But I've been running around here trying to figure out anything to do, but I just can't figure it out. What's this? A lantern plant. There's no attached. It says, thank you for the hard work, Mr. Lamplighter. Empty glass jar. You know, these are what I don't get. Why can't I not pick these up and use them as water? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, the lamplighter lives in here, I guess. Is that the guy that, uh, I think that was the guy that was stuck up, si uh, up top with the uh, elevator. No one here. I've already checked this one. Alright. We're still looking around, though, because I can't seem to... Okay. Can't go that way. Can't really seem to figure out where I'm going. That's the downside. Let me find a library card. Hey, kid. Want some soup dumplings? They're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial bypass. Okay. Buy parts. Hey, it's lab dude. Hey, you're looking for something? Yeah, I need to find a library card now. Any idea where I can find one? From the library? I tried that already. The person in charge wasn't there. Uh-oh. Maybe check out the factory. Just take the stairs to the end of the street and make a turn. There's a lot of scientists there. Scientists read books, right? They might help. Alright. Finally. Something in this game that actually tells me where to go. Okay, I think I've already seen that. Are you here for photos? No? Alrighty then. I just, uh, stand here. I need a photo, though! Alright. That's just... I've already seen those. Uh, I don't know if you'll give me any more. Actually, I exaggerated. The effects on the pill wear off like a week. But all you have to do is just take another pill. Okay. Well, down here he said is a factory, and that is where I shall go.
library card. In here. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's the one I can't figure out. Because of some code or something. Hey, bud. The city runs out of light as well. I don't think he, uh, I don't want to think about what happens then. Okay. I don't know where I'm going. Maybe in here? Beep boop! This is the painter room. Where machines, parts are made. Also robots. If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time. It can also help to write down previous attempts. It may help. Uh, it may help you to go one color at a time. Hmm. Let's see. Not really anything else in here, is there? Big metal box with lots of machinery inside. This one's a robot in it. Alright. Well. Still nothing in there. I think this is a factory. Um, how do I solve this? That is part of the test. Bummer. Well, here's the deal. I don't know how to solve it because I don't know what, what the uh, code is. Let's see here. Two are correct. I remember that. So... One light is correct. Okay, so... This one is correct. Um, this one is wrong. Let's see here, I'm gonna go like this. Two lights are correct. Access denied. Um, okay. Theoretically, this should be three, right? Two lights. Because this one is still wrong. Which means... Four lights are correct now. Okay! Which one is wrong? <laughs> Five tries left. Okay, so that was one of them. Five lights correct. Yay! <laughs> I did that by chance. Good job, me. <laughs> My robot! What happened? I don't know. I left for a minute and... Yeah. Alright, I got in. That was pure chance and luck. But, good job, me. Monitoring, monitoring. Ugh, those square particles just took out two of my robots in the glen. We might have to, uh, we might have to put off water analysis project for now. Okay. The Baron engineers just reported another sighting of particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. Picking up some more, dis um, more disruptions in sector eight of the city. This is consistent with my earlier findings, not good at all. Is anyone going to help me with a library card? Hmm, I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually refers to his work. None of us have been sleeping very well in the, li uh, in the light of recent events. The square particles took, over, took, took, out, my, uh, took, a, took out a few of my robots last week, and she fell asleep. Okay. <laughs> I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all get all the work, get all that energy? You, Dr. Silverpoint. These robots are man, manuf uh, 
Manu... Man, I can't talk today. Malfunctioning. <laughs> There's the word I was trying to say. <laughs> These robots are malfunctioning at a, ref at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particles and anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot's arms or legs or head. Okay. <laughs> I cannot stop spinning. <laughs> this is so tedious. I miss good old days before robot repairing robots broke down. Now all the robots have to be assembled by actual people. But aren't you a robot? No. I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really. Your head is a TV. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Never mind. That's a very good point. So, uh, okay. That's right. Hello! Oh, shoot! If I had known you would be here so soon, I would have turned off the darn lock. Hello there. Sorry about the weird, scary measures. It's okay. Energy helped me solve it. Yeah, by absolute chance. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Yeah. Do you know I can get a library card? A library card? You also asked the library for that. I tried. I need to see the head librarian, but I can't get I can't uh, I can't get to see her without a library card. But at the same time, she's the only one who gives out the library cards. Really. <laughs> that sounds like George, alright. I'm sorry you caught her in a bad day. Aw. Wait, I know. I can just give you my library card. It won't be hard for you. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Oh thanks. Here, there. You're all set, I think. Wait, shoot! I forgot the front desk library's bots have Franco facial recognition, and my photo card won't match you unless you tape a photo of of my face to your face. Um, <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> I, I could totally see someone stupid doing that. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky and a robot will take it anyway. Worst comes worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. Ah, right here. Something is poking out from the shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. You never know when you need glitter. To, need to glitter things up, right? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. Maybe that's where I get the water. Hey, energy. Doesn't that lady look like kind of? Doesn't that lead look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. That's a good point. Yeah, let's go. Let's go show her. Do, 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 boop, boop. Oh, that's... How did you get this? The robot lady from Barons gave me. She looked kind of like you. I see. <sighs> it was supposed to be such a breakthrough. It was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I even based her on myself, and I'll know it works. Breakthrough? We wanted to build robots that acts like a person, thinks like a person. What robot that isn't bound by its own code? Oh, but it turns out you can't really build something like that. Too many co contractions in the code made her unstable. That was the only that was the only time I'd ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, I tell you. Rogue, but she seemed so nice when she uh, when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. Ah, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her violent, violent state, a uh, volatile state, through his own means. A real miracle worker, that after he was through, she ended up turning out just like I wanted. But the damage was already done. I gave her, gave up on her back then, we all did. I'm sure she realized that, and now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Ah, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to Amber, okay? I will. Alright. Glitter glue. Okay, good. I have glue for gluing things. Okay. You can deal with your mess. Let's see if there's anything else over here. Yeah, ah. Okay, we've been here. I think there's a area over here, but I've been there. Okay, that believe I believe that's everything. 
So, we should be able to get back to uh, wherever I need to go. Can't pass travel from here, go figure. Alright, let's roll. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why that code was like that, but somehow I figured it out. Alright, let's see here. I need to go to the Vendor Street. And, in here... Oh, hi. Are you here to take photos? Actually, yeah. I need to take a picture for reasons. <laughs> well, I got good news and bad news. Good news is the photo center is right behind me. Bad news is that it doesn't work anymore, right? <laughs> You're catching on quick. After operations ended in the Barrens, this place got shut down. All the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Maybe Energy and I can figure it out from them. That's good. It would certainly help people with uh, inspired IDs, like me. Sit behind you, right? Oh! That's a, that's a, oh! That's a door! I had no idea. Okay, what's this? Didn't do anything. Oh, I know. I got this. All right, let's see here. All right. Okay. Guess that wasn't the right combination. Okay. So that's not the right combination. Okay. How do I figure out... So I'm guessing the thin one goes here. Just because... No, I don't want to combine them. Thin one probably goes here. The thin one goes here, then maybe... Maybe the thick one goes next to it. And then the concave curved inward should go here. And boom. No. Hmm. There's only so many combinations I can do here. Okay. So, I'm gonna try one combination at a time. So, um... So I've already tried thin and thick. So I'm gonna keep the thin, thin one here. I, I know. Keep the thin one here. Um, and then next one after that is concave, then convex, and then this. No, okay. So, take this back again. And take this one and put it here. Okay. There's got to be a simple statement on how this works. I need a piece of paper. Actually, I, I just grabbed a notepad up. Notepad. Boop. Notepad. All right. So. I will just try every possible combination first. So, thin. Thin, I did thick. And then concave. And then convex. All right. So that was one. And then I've done, what's this one? I'm just gonna go through every one and then I'll figure it out that way.
Hey, it works! I got it! It was thick, concave, thin, convex. I have no idea how that worked, but it worked for me, so I'm gonna just do it. Smile! Um, cheese! Boom! Ah, my eyes. Yay! That only took, uh, four, six, eight times. Eight, eight tries? No, six tries. Took six tries. It's a photo of me! Are my eyes really always this big? Probably. Photo. Glitter glue. Back of glue. Back of photos covered in glue and glitter. Alright. Sticky photo. Card has my face on it now. Kep. <laughs> Library card. Okay. There's a slot here. Looks like paper or something might come out of it. Oh, from it. Let's see here. Can I turn this back on again? Ooh! Can I take another photo? Cheese! That's my eyes. More photos! Another photo of me. Good thinking, Energy. It's a good idea to have a backup. Just in case I need a third one. Um, cheese! Close me eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna wear the whole thing out of paper. It's another photo of me. Three is enough, right? Yeah, it should be good. Energy, I fixed the camera. Ah, oh, sweet. All right. So. I wonder if she'll get mad at me if I do a whole bunch of them, like <laughs> eighty of them or something. Anyways, I'm gonna go to the library now. I have a library card. Where are you? Authentication, barcode, executing facial recognition, photo match successful. You're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Maybe I should change the name. Up we go. Looks like an old phone. It's full. Garbage. Okay. I wonder if I need water somewhere. It'd be kind of cool. I need water. So, someone here to see the brilliant George, eh? Caught wind of a genius. Couldn't help but to see it for yourself, huh? Um, don't answer. Of course you are. What else could you possibly want? Actually, I need your help. Can you tell me what I need to do? I think I'm supposed to go to the tower. Ah, but of course I can help. For I, the brilliant and intelligent head librarian George, beholder of all knowledge, believe you're supposed to go to the tower. That's what I said. But how exactly? To the tower entrance room. Plus, going beyond that small entrance room requires ancient forbidden knowledge that even excludes even George. But fear not. If that knowledge happens to be recorded in some cryptic tome in long dead language, then I know that I, George, I am fluent in several dead languages. I see. A book is poking out from the shelf. Okay. That's from the prophet. Hey, another book. Clover's fine. Ah, oh, and the rest of these books, too. Are they all about Clover's? Black Clover is a mark of the author. How? Oh. Since he never entrusted me or anyone else with his name, we identify his work by the mark. So he wrote all these books. I told you, he was a genius. And by extension, me. Alright. Sketchbook. A book of Pokemon poking out from the shelf. Hey, I think this book is actually about clovers. <laughs> Great. Book of Pokemon out. Um... Dr. Silverthorne's tomb is able to replace... Replicate our prototype. Oh, cool. Alright, hey. There's a room in here. Oh, I can sleep in here. Cool, alright. Um, but first... I don't really understand what's in here. Why, what do I need to do here? So, 
If you have any questions regarding books, then fear not. For I, George, the head of the librarian, know a lot about books. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Hey, take this one. Oh! Yeah, I have, I do have this book, though. I think it's written in some sort of words I don't recognize. Aha! An ancient book. Written by no less than the most ancient... Wait a minute. This isn't ancient at all. But it's written in a, dang la in a dead language, nevertheless. It's time for me to unleash my brilliance. For I, for George, me, prof <laughs> professor of at least one PhD, shall translate this. This will take some time, however. I see. Excuse me. Oh, what's this? Are you sl you sleepy? A little. Fear not, because I have read a book on hospitality before, <laughs> and this, <laughs> and thus prepared for this exact situation. Guest room in the attic down the hall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's not weird at all. Anyways, I'm gonna go do that, and then I'm gonna end the episode because this has been a long episode. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a double thumbs up down below if you like what you see. And I am gonna go to bed. Uh, book of the ground. There are six. Which one do you encounter? I'm tired of walking. Is it alright to take a nap? Yes, it is. Go to bed. Alright, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>